Come on in. Mike, have a seat. Come on in. We're going to the party. Oh, yeah, the book down there. Nothing. I've been looking for the hip book. All right, come on in. We're going to have a hip party. Yeah, hip party. Oh, wow. Wow, really hip. Good one. Good job. Today, we're going to talk about hip products. So if you're having hip pain or hip weakness, this is the place to be. We'll take your questions, as always. So go ahead and... We are, what are we on? Amazon? We're on Amazon Facebook, Live, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, Periscope, Periscope, and Bob and Brad Crew YouTube. All right, so we're on all the platforms. Let's get started, Mike. All right, what are we starting with? Well, let's start with the Hip Glide. Oh, Fit Glide, I'm sorry. Hip Glide? Ooh, well, Fit Glide, Hip new Glide. New name for it. All right, the first thing you want to know about this Fit Glide is how light it is. Yes, it is super light. It is only five pounds total, so anyone can lift it, and it comes with a nice handle. With As you see, I'm holding it with one finger right here. So th this thing is obviously very portable, and you can work your hips in a seated position and also lying down. I'm gonna, well, you, you lie down, you're a young guy. <laughs> All right, I'll lie down. So in bed, you can actually, Let's say you've had surgery or hip replacement. You can actually start moving the hips um, with assistance or without assistance. So picture Mike lying in bed. He just woke up. And uh, if you're having trouble, let's say you just had surgery on this hip, you can actually have a partner or someone, a family member, or your therapist can actually help begin to move this hip. Don't have Bob do it, his hands are cold. My hands are cold. You can also use it after a knee replacement. Works really well for that. And it's keeping both legs strong while you recover. Yeah, it's not a circular motion like an elliptical. It's more just a back and forth. So if your hip is kind of sore, if you have an arthritic hip, it doesn't move it around as much, but it gets good motion. Well, that's a good point, Mike, because actually, if you want to use this below a desk, now, if you have an elliptical or kind of a bike underneath a desk, your knees are going to be bumping up against the net, uh, the desk. But this actually just slides back and forth. And I'll show you in a minute how it looks in the seated position. But this obviously works a lot better for under a desk for that reason. So here it is flat. And so picture the desk right here. And I go like this. And my knees don't go up and down at all. No, nope, they stay level. They're not. So I was a look, just pedaling, maybe going like this. So it stays flat. It's a different motion. Now, there are some adjustments you can make here. You can actually put up the handle here, which makes kind of a ramp. And when it's this way, when it's on the front, you're actually working your quadricep more. You can see that. On, is that Amazon? No, Amazon's on the oh. iPad. You can see it on Facebook? Yes. Yeah, Facebook, you can see the side view here, uh, how I'm working kind of uphill, and it's working the quadricep muscles. Now, if I want to work the hamstring muscles, I just flip this around, and I have the stand up towards the back. And this one is actually a little more uh, of a challenge. Yeah. I mean, you actually work your hamstrings harder than you do your quadriceps. Yeah, and if you're too strong or younger or you're rehabbing well, you can always add some cuff weights to your ankles to make it more of a challenge. Yeah, good point. It's not whisper quiet. It's fairly quiet. But, um, you know, we do uh, encourage people sometimes to use a little silicone and spray it on there. Yeah, and just to lubricate it up once yeah. in a while so it glides smoothly. Um, this product is $138.98. Uh, this is made in the U.S., isn't it? Yes, it is. This is created by uh, Bob and Brad, actually, and they have them manufactured. They also have a knee glide if you just need a single one and have a knee injury. But for the hip, uh, the fit glide is good because you can work both hips with one device. Yeah, the plastic components are actually made right down the road from us, uh, about 20 miles yeah, okay. in Lewiston. And uh, they do a great job. And, uh, again... If you're elderly or a little bit disabled or 
week after yeah. surgery, this is the device for you. So we have a question already. The first question is about the thick light, and is it useful for drop foot exercises? So the action, the question is, is the thick glide useful for what? Drop, drop foot. Exercise. Drop foot exercises. This is not going to help. It's not going to hurt drop foot, uh, but it's not going to help drop foot. It's not going to help retain it. Yeah, it'll work your ankle range of motion a little bit, depending upon the angle you right. have it on, but it's not going to fix the cause of drop foot. But it can range your ankle if you're starting to get a stiff ankle from it. Really for your knee or hip. And that's really where it's, it's for. non-impact, so that's yeah. the biggest thing about it, and it's not super aggressive. So yeah, those arthritic hips or recently after surgery, it's really beneficial for. No, it's it's actually um, you maybe have heard that sitting is the new smoking, and part of the problem with sitting is you don't have any activity or any motion. So you actually can help, to, you know work against some of the negative effects of sitting mm -hmm. by getting some movement in your chair. So, And these are very portable, so you can bring them with you. We used to give them out to patients we'd see in the clinic. Uh, they'd take them home while we we're seeing them and then just return them when they were done. So, Yeah, we found, like after knee replacement, and I know we're talking about hips here, but after knee replacement, they recovered much more quickly using the knee glide at home than they yep. did by using a washcloth or something like that. So, you don't know what a knee glide is. This is like a double knee glide. Right. So. A knee glide would just be the one side and it gets cut off here. Yeah. So, um, yeah, very handy device. Um, really good for, uh, like I I got one for my mother. Um, works really well for her. Um, thinking about getting one for my mother-in-law. I could decide how much I like her. So. <laughs> And you force the motion, there's no reciprocal motion like an elliptical or bicycle where momentum will carry you. You have to force all the movement. Yep. So it's a little different that way in case you're curious. The work is coming from you. So. Yeah, there's no carryover. Uh, again, after a hip replacement, after a hip fracture, if, if you're allowed, that's the thing, you're not putting much weight on it. So. It's a low no. impact. And you're not lifting it up either. Right. I mean, if you're laying down, you might have to watch your hip precautions if you have some of bending too far. But in a seated position, you don't have to worry about that. Again, our program today is about hips. And uh, so if you have any questions about hip pain, which one just happened to pop up right now? This is uh, from Angela. From Angela. Um, if you have hip issues, could it or does it cause numb toes? I wasn't sure if it causes pressure on the nerve. All right. So Angela's question is, is if you have hip issues, mm -hmm. does it cause numb toes? It shouldn't. Uh, numbness is occurring. You're getting pressure on a nerve somewhere. You know, the most common area is probably the low back. You might have a disc problem or maybe where the nerves come out of the holes. The holes might have shrunk up a little bit on you over time. You can get pressure um, on the bone right here outside the, the fibula. I'm trying to think of the layperson's terms for some of this stuff. The but outside leg bone. <laughs> there we go. Um, you can actually even get pressure on your sciatic nerve if you sit right on your wallet. Um, you can. Right, right where the sciatic nerve comes out from the Yeah, if you're the sitting block. crooked like this for a prolonged period of time. It's probably a nerve issue is what Bob is getting at versus uh, referring from your hip. Yeah. Another question? This is from Marilyn. Uh, does it from help, Marilyn. Does it help piriformis? Does it help piriformis? Uh, I would not say this would help piriformis per se. No, we're going to show you. Yeah, we're going to show you the massage gun. The massage gun definitely helps piriformis. That's and the number one treatment we do for piriformis. Um, and probably some stretching. The Also, there, Thermotex. Would yeah, infrared help. heat could help stretching with the stretch strap. Mm -hmm. But with piriformis, actually, when you sit, that actually is putting pressure on the piriformis, and it actually may make it worse. So if you sit and move like this, it could actually make your piriformis pain worse. Which, by the way, is now called deep gluteal syndrome, where because we think more than the piriformis muscle is involved, we think there may be several muscles involved. Yeah, numerous little rotator hip muscles. Yeah, another question. Yep. They're really coming in. The questions uh, are coming in. Uh, Diane is interested in knowing um, her 
89 year old father-in-law uses the pedal version when the weather doesn't allow him to golf does this help or work any better well so diane has a, a father-in-law uh yep 89 year old father and he's 89 years old and he uses a pedal version uh when when he can't golf poor guy i really <laughs> he can't golf but uh she's wondering if this has any advantage i don't know if it has any great advantage if he's able to do the pedals I'll let, continue with the pedals, you know. Um, if he can't do the pedals, like he can't get his legs around anymore, this is good for that because you can you can start off with very little movement, work the longer movement, but with pedals, you have to be able to go all the way around or, or yeah. it's going to be good. Pedals, you're probably going to be seated in some fashion, whether it's a stationary bike or just an elliptical. This, you can um, be seated or laying down as well, and it's just lighter to move. So if you didn't already have something, you know, it's a good option. But since you already have something, it's not really necessary. Yeah, I had bought a, an elliptical for my mom, but that thing weighs, I think, 70 pounds. Yeah, they're pounds. not. You, you got to find a permanent place for them. They're not super easy to move. No. Um, and with her, I have a fear of falling with her. And uh, so I don't want her trying to lift anything like that. And she's got a bad back. So uh, this is a good option for that person because, again, five pounds is all it weighs and you know most people can lift five pounds last question here another um, question uh does it help with it band issues does it help with it band issues um again not per se um it band you're talking about the band that runs outside the hip here and attaches across the knee what often irritates the it band is repetitive motion like this like biking walking so what we're trying to do why don't you show that right mike oh uh we're trying to massage along the it band in case it is adhered down to the tissues below it so um we're going to stretch the muscles that are attached to the it band and we're going to massage the it band and maybe loosen it up so that it's not pulling on this area so much so no this would not be good for it band Mike Scott, why don't we start talking about that, man? So this is a massage gun. This is the C2. Uh, any of the massage guns would work well for an IT band. It just runs, if you don't know, from the outside of your hip down to the outside of your knee. Different parts on different people can be sore. Like mine are kind of tight, mine quick in my knee. Some people rubs more in the hip, so it's just going to depend upon your issue. But it's a very thick uh, tendon, and right. it's not easy to... You're not really stretching. Yeah, the you can't tendon, stretch it much. But the tendon could be adhered down. Adhere down. Right. And you can also uh, work on the tensor fascia lata, which is one of, one of the muscles that attach to the band. Yeah, so does the glute max. You know, so you can hit all those muscles and they'll take stress off the IT band and therefore it takes stress off these areas that could be giving you pain. Now we, someone earlier had mentioned that they have piriformis syndrome. This is the treatment of choice for that. We have found out with stretching that using the piriform, uh, using the massage gun is the best option for loosening up yes. tight muscles. Typically on your back buttock region in here. Yeah, you, you could maybe cross your legs like this, Mike, yeah, and... You, you would probably do it I do lying down. Lying down. Yeah. yeah, I'm just showing in this way. I don't, it's probably hard to see black on black here, but you kind of yep. work this area here. And wherever it's really sore, you could dig into. You could use different massage heads. Um, yeah. This is just a round one right now. There's five different heads. If it's deeper, use the pointy head. If it's really uh, tender, use a round head or air-filled head. But these massage guns are nice. You can massage lots of other areas just besides your hips with it. Only one and a half pounds. This one's only, I think, 130? Let's scroll down. Oh, sure. Uh, this is the C2 massage gun, by the way. Brushless motor, real quiet. It is $130. Comes with a carrying case, five different heads, rechargeable batteries. Uh, hey, you just got to plug it into your phone charger and charge it up for a while. It lasts for hours. I don't have the heads for that one they're over there but they're very similar to this massager and i know they have the balm which mike has it on right now they have the 
kind of a more flat head and this one glides along clothing really well and also along skin uh, the air filled one is probably the one that you want to use around by the hip to start because you you could you might hit the hip bone and uh, this is comfortable to go over bone uh, oh mike's going to show up. here are the five different heads he's talking about and uh show the bullet head too mike bullet head is right here so it's very pointy it's more for a trigger point and that's very intense yes the air filled head is more cushioned and soft uh this is going to be more for like bony areas uh the round head is also this is made of foam it's very soft and then we have the fork which is kind of you can use forearm achilles smaller regions around the spine around possibly. the spine yeah depending upon how wide your back is and then we have a flat head um this is a little less aggressive than the point, but it's a lot firmer than, say, the ball. And so. it slides real well. Yeah. And there's not a right or a wrong. You just pick which one you like. Yeah. And quite often, if you have a tender spot, what we recommend is first work around it. Hit all the muscles around it and then slowly narrow into it as, you as you're able to tolerate it. And these have one button on the back. It uh, has five intensities. So you just press the button again and the lights go up to increase the intensities and then off. You just have to hold it for about three to five seconds to actually turn it on. So after I'm holding it, there it kicks in. So just takes a little a bit to turn on. Yep, we got a question. And he's got a question for us. Um, so this individual has a lot of knee problems, patellofemoral syndrome. Would this help and how would I use it for the issue? So he basically has D issues. Uh, patellofemoral is one problem he has. Now, this is a hip issue, but we'll still address it. It's right um, below the hip. Right. So patellofemoral is often the kneecap is not in the right place. The kneecap gets off to one side or another. And we have videos that help describe how you can tape it in place. The massager Whenever you're massaging for a knee problem, you're massaging really not right on the knee itself. You're massaging upstream and yes. downstream. So it feels pretty awkward right on my knee, right. especially my kneecap. So you're going to work. You're, right. You're going to work the quadricep right above. You can work the tendon below. The tendon below. You don't want to typically go directly on more at an angle. You can work beside it a little bit as well. Yep. Uh, calf also goes across the knee. Yeah, as you can see, these on bony areas really bounce and they don't feel the best. So no. you typically want to go around it. There is a good spot right above the kneecap. It's called the supra patellar pouch. And uh, I actually had trouble with this area. It was all bound down on me. And I was getting a lot of pain, which you might think is patellofemoral, right above the knee, right above it and right above the kneecap and i massaged that area and that was the one thing that took this foot down from 100 percent of pain to 20 percent within a couple of days i really enjoyed that I, I actually would bounce up against the knee kneecap a little bit like too yeah i would just i'm good there yeah that's, that's it you know, just you, you typically if you're working your knee you want your knee more in the lax straight position like this doesn't really work when my knees bend like it bounces a lot so so just an interesting story, at least it's interesting to me. Uh, years ago, we were approached by massage gun companies, but we, we refused to show them because they were like $400, $500. Now they obviously come down. We get approached by a couple of massage gun companies a day. And we went with this company, which is now we put our name on it, is because they consistently have very good quality and very good price. Um, I just, I'm very proud of, if you look at the reviews, you'll see these all have very high reviews. Um, I think they're the best guns out there. I really do. This uh, one is the Q2 now. We'll take the question in a minute. So this one's a little cheaper. It's only $89. Um, it's a little less powerful than the C2, but it is still plenty powerful, yeah, especially very, plenty powerful. especially for the hip, uh, nice ergonomic handle, smaller, easier, portable. 
Same amount of heads, all the same features, just a little less intense than the other one. Danny, what's the question? Uh, someone is wondering if the, these massage guns would help at all with uh, quadratus lumborum recovery. Quadratus lumborum. Uh, so the quadratus lumborum is a tough one to get a hold of. Um, tough to, to massage yeah, because of the location. Yeah, way deep and down in there. You, you would have to have somebody help you and they would have to go at it from an angle yeah but it, it it's possible they actually, um, you guys did a video on it we did a video on it yes we if did you watch if you go to bob brad dot, or uh, mm -hmm. bob brad dot com, go to program section go to massage series there's one on quadratus labor there is and then they talk about it and show how to get there in the video but so. it, it's really specific on how to do it and you do need a partner i mean it's very yeah and you're to probably going to need this C2 would be a little easier than the Q2 to get in there. I think you guys used a pointer head. Too, I think we you? used the, like the bullet head, uh, yeah. which is uh, looks like this one. These are very versatile massage guns. I mean, you can use them pretty much anywhere. The guns, the only time it's hard is like the middle of your back region. Obviously, you're going to be limited by your shoulder there. Um, our handheld massager. That <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a real problem. No, it's in there. But again, this one is uh, less money, and uh, I we have these lying around our cabin uh, when we have friends over and family, and they all pass them around and they massage their, their own body parts. But I find last weekend we had real, some really big guys, and they get plenty of relief from this. So. It's plenty uh, powerful, and it's it's amazing. This is the one I use all the time. I used it this morning. So there's the bullet head. There's a bullet head for this one. About. It was just wedged so well in the little spot there. So yeah. <laughs> I got it out with a pen. Yeah, they come with carrying cases as well. Uh, this can last three and a half to four hours on a fully charged battery. It depends. I forget to charge it quite often because I, it lasts a long. Yeah, you don't need to charge it that much unless you're sitting there massaging for numerous hours a day. Like, I'd probably charge mine once a week and I'd probably use it 10, 15 minutes a day, so. What holiday is coming up, Mike? Uh, Halloween. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> you cannot go wrong if you get somebody a massage gun. Uh, is it Labor Day or, or Halloween? Or... <laughs> uh, Labor, Day. Labor Day. Okay. Well, it's presents for, for Labor, Labor Day. Day. You want to buy back to school. Person, back to school for that favorite person in your life. Probably uh, the parents don't need it because they're getting rid of their children. Or maybe they won't be because of the virus. They, they may be staying home. But really, you know, we always joke that among us is that eventually you're going to need one of these because... <laughs> There's going to be some body part that breaks down, or there's going to be some body part that really would benefit from the massage gun. They, they get passed around from family member to family member. When we give these away, they always, they all, the, the story I hear all the time, Mike, is we're fighting over it. Yeah, they're arguing who gets yeah, to keep yeah, it. Exactly. And this so. one is, that's less than a pound. That oh, massage this is less than a weight. pound. Sure. Yeah, it's less than a pound, so very lightweight. Uh, should we move on to our... Yeah. So this is the handheld massager. This is our cheaper option. It is not... Inexpensive, a, not cheap. It's not <laughs> a, inexpensive, sorry. It is not a... It's not a massage gun. It's a massager. But it has different modes. So it can be continuous or more intermittent type pressure. Uh, it has different intensities. It has this nice handle, though. So if you want to get in your upper back... Makes it a lot easier that to reach. get to the hip easier. Yeah, and you can get to the hip easier as well, too, or your feet if you have problems. Um, it's not going to penetrate as deep as the massage gun. Yeah, the percussion is not as deep as it would be with the, the handheld, uh, not the handheld, the smaller massager here, the Q2 yeah. or the C2. This one is only $39, or it's $40. Um, so bit cheaper. Uh, this is would be good for kind of the elderly or more frail people or if you have um, sensitive skin, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, it's not as aggressive, but it's still decently powered. Uh, my 
Grandma has one of these, and so do my parents, and they like them. So I, I got one from my mother-in-law. Wasn't sure she was going to like it, but she uses it on her feet. She has neuropathy in her feet, and she says it's heaven sent. So and these come with five different heads. They're slightly varied compared to the other ones. Yeah, um, a little bit different. They screw on. Yeah, they thread on. I'll just show you some of them. They don't come with a case. They come with that white stand down there. But oh, these does feel good are just some options of different heads that it comes with. So you just pick which ones you like. Um, they're all a firmer plastic. Yeah, again, it doesn't percuss it as deep. But if you are of slight build, or if you have sense of the skin, or you're maybe a little more elderly, this is probably the gun for you. Yeah. Um, it, it's plenty aggressive enough, especially if you get up in these areas here, to get, you know do the job. But if you're a big bodybuilder, yeah, you're going to probably go in the yeah, massage, gun. massage gun. I should so. say, too, that these all have automatic turnoffs at a time limit just so they don't overheat. You can turn it right back on. This one is 20 minutes. The other massage guns are more like 10. So just an FYI, if it turns off on you, that's what it is. So it'll turn right back on. This one has different modes too. Right now, uh, I don't know what you'd call this, but it's like rapid fire and it stops. It's just intermittent. Yeah, intermittent. But uh, yeah, there's different varieties. The yeah. other ones are all continuous. So right. But this one also has different speeds if you decide so this one works nice on the hip if you have trouble reaching back there or down there um, with the limited range of motion. Good yeah, option. Um, years ago, this this was the type they first sold and uh, works really well for the pure formers because you can get to the pure formers really easy. Yeah. Do you have a question, Danny? Yes, this is a longer one. This is from Mary. Okay, uh, Mary. Hi, Mary. I have pain in my hip, uh, sciatic and buttock, um, and this I think is causing severe arthritis in my ankle. Um, she's wondering if the massager or the uh, fit glide would help uh, with either of these issues. So Mary has some problems here. Um, she's having sciatica and she's having pain in her hip um, and she feels like it's causing arthritis in her ankle. Well, it's not, um, first off, but sciatica can cause pain in your ankle and maybe feel like uh, arthritis. So. With sciatica, you really want to address the problem. Quite often, it's in your low back. And uh, we have a whole series of programs on this that are free. You just go to bobandbrad.com, go to the, the uh, program, program section. section, and look for sciatica. We have like 40 videos. It'll address the issue that you want to address. These massage guns probably will not help that unless you have what is called false, false sciatica. And that's where you actually have that piriformis syndrome and it presses on the sciatic nerve and sends pain down your leg. In false sciatica, generally what you'll find is that you really don't have any back pain. You have hip pain and leg pain. And, uh, and it acts like sciatica because you are pressing on the nerve, but it's, it's way different. It needs to be treated way different and the massage gun does work for that. Sorry, Mary, that you have all that going on. I know that's not fun. Any other questions, Danny? Um, how often should you wear the IT band, whether massage gun, um, that she has a massage gun or a roll? I have one of those two. Any sort of exercises that could help. So she's, what's her name? Uh, Diane is wondering. Diane was wondering. Um, she's having IT band problems. That again, if you look at the stripe of my pants, that's pretty much where the IT band goes. And she's wondering, she has a massage gun and she has a foam roller, which we'll talk about the foam roller in just a minute here. She's wondering how often she should do these. Really, you could do these quite often. You could, you could do this every hour if you like, um, you know, as long as you're not irritating it. Um, it. Really, quite often we recommend some of these exercises, if you can and easily do it, um, you can do them every hour and you're gonna get better results by going at it more frequently than, than not. Yeah, just shorter duration of time, numerous times through the day, if that's an option for you, would be best. Um, it's a lot easier with the massager, massage gun, than the roller, because obviously, if you're in the middle of a work day, you're not gonna sit down and start foam rolling. Unless you're working at home. Yeah, which you can. Um, 
I've done that sometimes. Don't tell Bob. Yeah. The foam roller is really nice. Let's talk about those. Let's yep. I'll, I'll scoop down here. So these are both made by OPTP. Um, there's lots of different variations they make. Today we got the OPTP Pro Roller Soft. So this one is squishy. It's soft. It's not as firm. Uh, it's a little gentler if you're more fragile or sore. Uh, this is the Access Foam Roller, and it is really firm and a little more aggressive. I would say this soft one is the softest foam roller I've ever seen. Yeah, it, yeah I've yeah. never felt one this soft. Um, this one is more basic standard hard foam. Um, they also have a Pro Roller, just normal density. It's kind of... Uh, yeah, they have the whole gamut. Of, yeah, they have uh, lots of options. They have long ones. Shh, they have ones half this length, so you don't have to buy them this so long. So the initials are O P T T P. Yeah, and this is the Pro Roller Soft. This is the normal Pro Roller, and this is the Access. Um, they were a little short on the normal Pro Roller on yeah. Amazon, so you might have to look at the Access or the soft one, but. Yeah, for IT band. I believe the Access is a little cheaper too, aren't they? Yeah, the Access is only $34. This soft one is $52. Yeah. So just an FYI. I, I think if you look too, they have them like cut in half pretty much. And then um, they're cheaper. I mean, it's obviously not just cut in half, right. but it's that size. We used to take mice to buy them and cut them in half and use them in patient, with patients. Uh, yeah. So, so we could send one home with them. Piva T band syndrome, I typically, when I roll it, I put my other leg over top so it's not as aggressive. And then you can just kind of roll whatever part is sore. Like on me, I so more this, right here. this weight, this leg is taking some of the weight yeah. off. If some people like this, this is pretty Yeah, big. that's really aggressive. This is really aggressive. I can do this on the soft one. I could I could tell you I'm not doing that on the axis. That would hurt my IT band too much because I have some tender spots of mine. But yeah, if you just kind of roll on it like this, if you're able to get on the floor, if you're not, the massage is going to be really helpful for this. Right. The soft one was actually developed by Sarah Meeks for people with osteoporosis. And she has a whole series of videos she does uh, for that. Yes, it feels nice. I've never but used a soft it one. It is nice. It, it's it really, if you have a problem area that you can't tolerate foam rolling, you might be able to tolerate this one. Yeah, um, they have different color options too, I think. And so sometimes you you know, you, you progress from that one to one that's a little more aggressive. I use a very aggressive one, to be honest with you. But, yeah, uh, I, they have vibrating ones too and other stuff. So that blue one different. is very popular, that pro roller. That's probably the most popular pro. one that we recommend that we see people buying. Yep, this is a nice in-between. Um, it's got a little more grip than the Access. Uh, the Access is their cheaper one. You know, it's thirty-four dollars. So if you're just looking for a real basic one, the Axis ones are fine. They come in like gray or black. Uh, this this feels more like a foam, I would say, than yeah. the other ones. It is typical foam roller increase. Uh, after it, it my feels like styrofoam. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's got a yeah. You can even get the whole styrofoam peanut yeah. butter there. And uh, they're all three feet long by six inches. Uh, in diameter? Yep. No, in di diameter. Is that radius? It's <laughs> diameter. Okay. So um, that's a pretty much custom size, or custom, normal size, I should say. Yeah, it's pretty find. standard size. Yeah. Standard size. There you go. There you go. Good for that. But yeah, they can so. massage lots of different areas. I mean, you don't just have to do IT band. I mean, you can can even work. Your, yeah, you can get your glutes you with your this. Glutes, you can get your, your abductors. Gluteus minimus, gluteus uh, mm -hmm. mod, uh, maximus, and gluteus minimus. And uh, yeah, you want to hit the hamstrings too because they attach into the hip. Again, you can and, do one or two legs. You and you actually want to flip over, Mike, and hit the rectus femoris, which covers the hip too. That's the front of the hip or the quadricep muscle. Rectum down near kilda. Rectum down near kilda. I don't know if you can see that on Amazon. Right. Yeah, you, you typically just do that. If you're a guy, you typically just do one leg. This leg is not underneath it because you're going to hit your manhood if you try to do it the other way. That is uh, one I do every morning. I have some issues with my hips sometimes. And uh, many years ago, I actually had to all stop running for a couple months because of the pain from hips. Yeah, it's a little but more aggressive. Here I am several years later able to run again because 
I preventively keep these muscles very loose and very flexible. Uh, Tom Brady, as you know, who now plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, um, he's a huge proponent of foam rolling. He likes to use a vibrating foam roller. But uh, again, keeping those muscles supple will keep them out of pain. Yeah, and it's kind of nice to get in a routine too. So once you figure out which muscles on your legs you typically have to roll, like I'll just roll them all real quick in like 10 minutes. I don't do it every day. Sometimes I use the massage gun because I have both at home. But they're both good options for IT band, piriformis, sore legs, whatever. So I'm going to go down the McKinsey book. McKinsey so, book, all right. If you want a good reference for overall, for hip pain, the McKinsey method, uh, treat your own hip, uh, is a really inexpensive way to get some good knowledge, an overview. It takes you right from step one all the way through what you should do as far as uh, exercises. He is the man in our field. He unfortunately has passed away, but uh, he has several books. Um, he really was, uh, broke ground on treating sciatica and back pain, but um, these books are, you'll see again, rated very well on Amazon. They're only like 13 bucks, um, just really a bargain. We, so we've like done, 80 pages. Yeah, we've done many videos on their, on his books because they have been so effective. I, Brad and I took several courses uh, in McKenzie and uh, I, I, I would say it probably had the best effect on my patients of any courses that I took and just really helpful. And even talks about positions to avoid, what can cause problems, what area. Yeah. So here they have front of the hip, kind of the piriformis. They also have IT band, kind of sciatic, like piriformis reference, fake sciatic. Really, a man that was ahead of his time and uh, actually he this course is now uh, provided, I believe, in 30 some countries. I mean, he's all over the world. Uh, these books are sold all over the world in several languages. Um, really, I, it would be right. I've, give, I've given this book to many, many patients, um, and some of them really don't need me after that. Yeah, and, it's got all the exercise progression in there and stretches, and you just kind of figure out which ones work for you, and then you just stick to them. You don't do all of them because that would probably take you all day, but just kind of read through it, narrow down what you need, and it's good. Reference point for My goal as a therapist was always to stop having you need me. Um, I know that maybe not be a very, very good business decision, but but the fact is, if you get that type of reputation, you get so many patients, you don't even need the patients because uh, they're taking care of themselves and they're getting better. And what is better than that? So, all right. Mike, why don't we move on to, should we talk about the resistance bands? Um, sure, which ones? Why don't we talk about the loop, the small, small hip bands, loop. yeah. Yeah, time for one question before we move on. Here's a question. Um, someone had hip replacement 11 days ago, and they're wondering if they can use the Fit Glide yet. So someone had hip replacement 11 days ago, mm -hmm. and they're wondering if they can use the Fit Glide. Absolutely. As uh, long as your doctor doesn't have weird precautions yes. you don't know about and you're weight bearing, it should be fine. You can always yeah. ask them to check, but it's not going to... You always want to maintain the, the precautions uh, supplied by your therapist or by the doctor. I mean, you're not crossing your legs. You're not bringing oh, your hips no. way up. You're not extending your hips way far yep you're not and you're not bearing weight through this exercise yeah very so, low weight so if you have a limited weight bearing status for some reason you should be okay but you can check with your doctor or yep. your therapist and say all i'm going to do is put my foot on this thing and slide it back and forth so it's very little weight yeah um, you probably want to start with it flat you don't want to elevate it right away just because your hip precautions. this is i believe the thick line is the treatment of choice after you've had hip replacement, without a doubt. It's, yeah, I mean, it's way more inexpensive than any type of elliptical or bike or anything. Yeah, and you can continue it after you're done with the uh, hip rehab, and this is something you can continue for the rest of your life. 
that'll help keep you in shape, give you a little bit of cardio, and keep those legs moving. So, are we going to talk about the sure. bands? Sure. Mike's going to show some strengthening bands here now for the hip. So these are more for after you have rehabbed a bit and your legs are stronger. If you're sore yet, these probably wouldn't be for you. No. They are more advanced. Or even if you just want to strengthen your hips and you're a young person in general. So these actually just go above your knee. And they have three options. They come in a three-pack. So they come in a heavy purple, which is the one I have on. They have a medium pink is this color. And then they have a green, which is the lightest. Our green is like a prototype, so it's not attached. Yours are all yeah. one firm attached band like this. Uh, so they're actually, move. yep, they're yeah. stitched like this. And you just put them on your legs. But you can do different standing exercises with them. You can work your hip abductors if you're just doing some side stepping like this. I should probably get them over my shorts so people can see it. The farther you move it up, the easier it is. Yep. If so you want to make it harder, you put it down toward the knee. This is easy. This is going to be harder. harder. And the more taut they are, the more tension on it, less slack, the harder it is as well. So you can do some type of side stepping. And you can just do standing hip abduction as well. You can do some extension. Extension. And obviously, you can hold on to some support while you're doing that. Um, yeah, you can even loop this if, say, Bob was a heavy uh, table there. Sure. You could loop it around there, and then you could really kick, All right, now I'm gonna pull you <laughs> kick over. back. So now it's harder to do the hip extension. Um, you can also put it down at your ankle for that, too. It's going to make it harder yet. Sure. But then you can do some, You're really working I out. I can't <laughs> yeah. even do that one. But... For a lot of you, you put this on and you do it in a lying down position. Yeah. That's probably the best way to do this. Now you can work clamshells. This is a very good hip exercise. You're externally rotating the hip and abducting the hip a little bit. Um, again, this is something not really for the beginner. You no, start I feel these, this a yeah, lot. You start these without a band first and then you add the band in later. It's really a good, these are really good for developing your booty, uh, your butt yeah, muscles. I feel this a lot in my buttock and piriformis area, like my hip rotators. Yeah, yeah. this one. Woo. Jordan, our fitness instructor, has done whole videos on using these for shaping your your booty. You're giving yourself a beautiful booty. <laughs> Try to say that. Beautiful booty. There. Beautiful booty. These are, yeah, I feel these. I don't work my external rotators up to my hip there. Where these are different, you might have seen the ones that are are made more out of uh, bands as far as uh, like an elastic band. Those tend to roll up and they're not very comfortable. These are really comfortable uh, and they never roll up on you. They have and, a grip on the yeah. inside, so this is actually sticking to my legs. I mean, it's not sticky, but it's not sliding this way. So Yeah, they're, they're just a lot more comfortable. They can handle sweat better uh, than... The regular bands can yeah they're it's eighteen dollars for a three pack so yeah pretty inexpensive portable you can very bring portable anyway. yeah start easy and then build up to harder if you can handle it if you're fine with the easy ones and they're hard for you just stay with those so yeah it's it's interesting uh quite often people with like knee pain uh if they strengthen their hips it would take some of the stress off their knees and so there's a lot of uses for this besides just cosmetic, making your butt look better. Um, it, it really is functional for the hip, makes it a lot stronger, makes it less likely to hurt or get hurt, and the same with the knee. Yeah, and they're not rubber, they're uh, cotton polyester, like elastic, so that they're stretchy, but they're not like a normal thin band. They're pretty durable and thick, and you're gonna have a hard time wrecking them. So. There's no latex, latex in them, like, I don't know. No. No light decks as far as I could see. Just cotton polyester, cotton elastic fiber, fabric. Yeah, so. anti-slip rubber on the inside. So. No rolling, pinching, sliding, and curling. And, and I would agree with that. That's that's where it really... Yeah, and you can do other exercises with these besides hip. Like you can do squats with these on to activate to make sure you're pushing your legs out in the right direction. Donkey kicks, bridges, straight leg raises. Yeah, there's a whole plethora of exercises you yeah. can do with this. Um, and again... 18 bucks and uh, you get three of them. Yep, so you pretty got, inexpensive. 
Yep. And they'll last you a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, these aren't unless your cat or dog get a hold of them. There. Right. All right, should we mention the resistance bands? Um, no. Sure. The thing about these resistance bands, now, are we talking about the wall anchor too or just the anchor the bands? We can talk about both. Doesn't matter. So these are attached right out to the wall using the wall anchor, Bob and Brad wall anchor. You get three of them in a pack or four of them in a pack, depending on where you get it from. Yeah. Um, and um, it works really well for, oh, yeah, you're going to show them. Here it is up close, just the wall anchor. This is it mounted to a wall that shows, the screw shows how deep it goes into the wall. So you wouldn't miss the stud, but they have to be screwed into a stud in order to support your weight. Right. And, and it, once it's screwed into the stud, you can put like 800 pounds of stress on that thing and it's not going to come out and it's not going to break. Yeah, you can't see them, but there's two up here and they're holding me up right now. Right. I'm not going anywhere. He's actually doing a pull-up on them. So where this comes into play with the hip is we actually, along with each uh, package of resistance bands, you get cuffs, and you can attach the cuffs to bands. So these go to your ankles. Uh, they can also go on your wrists if you had a bad grip. Uh, they have handles as well. But, yeah, you just hook them up to your ankles, and you can strengthen them this way. You can... Hook them around a sturdy table or use a door anchor if you don't have right. a wall anchor. These come with a door anchor, so you can attach them to any door. Uh, it's just not as safe, we believe, as the wall anchor, but but it's certainly sufficient. Um, and Mike's right now hooking up to the wall anchor, but he's going to show you with the cuff weights, with the cuffs, how he can you know, just slide it on the top. Like, there you go. And just pull. Just oh, he's doing a double over there. Okay. So you can do some basic. Well, I got the red band. It's not that hard. But you can do some hip. You know, abduction. your three-way hip yep. kicks. This is abduction. You can face the wall, kick into extension, work on keeping good posture. This will get your buttock a little more. You can even try bending your knee and do kind of a donkey kick with the band if you want. Yep. You can do front variation of it. So you can kind of swing, or you can kind of do a hip flexor to hip. And you can do a scissor, like a, a soccer kick. You know, soccer kick? Oh, face the, this? the wall. Yeah, like that. I, yeah. I know what a soccer kick is. I never heard it called a scissor kick. I guess well, you can go angles. You can do whichever way. scissors, way. doesn't it? I guess, yeah. <laughs> I just never heard it called a scissor kick. I don't know. But, yeah, you can, you can hook up both ankles, too. I mean, you just do one at a time, obviously. I'm just holding this side right to now. To be honest, I don't know if I would get one of these kits just for your hips. No, you can strengthen them. You can strengthen the every part of the body, and that's when this thing really pays for itself. Um, I wouldn't get one just for your hips. Um, your hips, I could, you probably get one to get the, the loops that we just showed. Yeah, the hip um, loop bands. The yeah. button hip bands would be good for that. But these are versatile, it's just an option we wanted to show you. Um, if you already had bands like this, you can strengthen your hip with them as well. Now we have two different sets for these. Um, one, the resistance levels are a little bit lower and that's for $30. And then we have one that the resistance levels of the bands are a little bit higher and that's $44. Yeah, so they're all the same colors, they're just more resistant. So if you don't feel like you need the 150 pound kit then you don't have to buy that one for a little bit cheaper uh they, these are made from latex by the way so if you have a latex allergy do not get them but yeah you can work your whole body and they work with wall anchors or a door or yep. anything and again one. each one comes with the door anchors you want uh with the wall anchors you have to actually purchase those separately um, but the, it does come, well, you're looking for it one, aren't you? A door anchor, but I don't know where our door anchors ran off to. Oh, we're always really organized here quite well. So. I don't know. I don't know where they went. All right. Why don't we talk about the Thermatex? Sure. Light. So this is more of a pain relief one in the early stages of hip pain. If you have chronic hip pain, uh, this is the Thermatex Far Infrared Heating Pad. So what makes it different than normal heat is that it penetrates a lot deeper. So it goes 2.36 inches deep, where normal heat just kind of gets the surface layer. I don't think most people know that. I, I, 
like I, I, when you get a regular heating pad, even though it might get quite warm on you, it doesn't penetrate any more than like a millimeter. And so it's not really getting into the tissues to help me heal. Uh, this again at 2.36 inches, uh, that's really quite significant. And in fact, yeah, there, Mike. So this is normal heat, the blue part. This is how far the far infrared heat goes. So you can see both ends. Yeah. It's barely going anywhere. And this is how far the far infrared heat goes. So it penetrates your muscles a lot more. I'll give you an example. Um, my mom fell, unfortunately, and she fractured a rib. And she was having quite a bit of pain. We didn't want to put her on narcotics because that would cause her to fall again. So we, we actually, I got her a Thermotex far infrared heating pad and uh, that was able to penetrate, help to heal very quickly because she, she was able to get heat there and heat will help increase circulation, which will help healing. So these are not inexpensive. Um, no, this one's... You didn't even write down the price. You were this afraid. one's pretty pricey. It's, <laughs> a, fee, it's a couple hundred dollars. Um, yeah. This is the Platinum model. 219 219 219 So it's... They have cheaper models. This one is nice because it comes with two straps. Right. So you can wear it like a backpack or strap it on your leg or anywhere. You can use them anywhere. I probably don't put it on your face, but um, right. it's not going to burn you. It goes to 108 to 116 degrees. It doesn't, it warms up, but it doesn't feel super hot, I should say. I right. mean, it feels nice, but it's not like your typical heating pad where you have to typically put more towels and layers in there than this. Yeah, it actually takes like five to 10 minutes to actually heat up. Yeah. It's, they tell an interesting story. They just turned 25 years uh, in age as far as oh. the anniversary for this company. And they, they've they kept a Thermotex Platinum model in a, a chair in their um, waiting room. And last time I had heard it was there for like 16, 17 years meaning they leave it on the entire time yep so this just has a plug-in you have to have it plugged in it has a pretty long cord this Six is just cord. part of it yep um you just turn it on and off and that's all that's, you, that's do all you do yep if you're having hip pain or if you're having back pain which is i just had an episode of back pain this was the only thing that took it away i, I was doing all these other things this is what calmed it down but the nice thing about this is you can actually do this twice a day. You you flip it on. I was actually strapping it to my back while I was working at the computer. Just had the straps go around. But I would also put on a night in my recliner. And it's easy. To, they recommend 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes twice a day. That's not that hard to do because if, you're, if you have a sitting job or while you're watching TV at night, you just put it on, and I put it on for hours. I added yeah. it on for like three hours. So um, it's you, only two pounds as well, so it's super lightweight. It's not heavy sitting on you. Yeah, it's got the, the panels. You got to put it on uh, the panels towards the skin, and it doesn't even have to really conform to the skin. Through the waves, it actually penetrates through you know material like shirts and yeah. And, uh, I mean, you might want to, if you have a sweatshirt on, you might want to take that off, depends. Uh, but a t-shirt, it goes through just fine. It's also, uh, it comes with a one-year warranty, so if it malfunctions on you, you don't like it, you know, just contact them. And I'll tell you, with winter coming up, this is your friend. Yeah. Um, it's really good for, like, sore muscles, muscles right. that have stiff joints. So if your hip joint is sore or the surrounding muscles are sore, um, I mean, I don't think you'd want to use it with, like, acute bursitis. Right. But anything else, um, it should work good for with your hip. Yeah, so you can put it right on the hip. Sit on it, up front yep. of your hip, back of your hip, inside. You can wrap your whole hip, possibly, depending on the size yep. of your leg. Uh, works really well for that. During the winter months, again, I keep this on all the time in my chair. And uh, there was a lady who actually, um, she has really cold hands. <laughs> she puts her hands in there. Yeah, she actually makes a muff out of this. And puts your hands in there and yeah. lets them warm up. You can warm up anything. With so, that's, yeah. that's, that's a nice versatile one. They do, um, Thermotex does make specific joint models. Yeah. Like shoulder, wrist. I don't know if they make a hip. 
They think, don't, I don't no, think, make a hip one. Shoulder, this one wrist, works well, well maybe for them. knee, but yeah, this one works all the areas. I'd probably get a generic one like this that works all the areas because then you can use it for more things. Well, that that's exactly it. The platinum one, you can, you know, you don't have to use it just for your hip. Yeah. It's the same thing as the massage guns. When you're having a painful area, like the back or upper back, this is where I use it a lot too. Yeah. It's the only thing that I'll take away my knot pain. I actually strap around around my upper shoulders and my upper back it and it really knocks down that pain really rapidly. I think their gold model is similar. I think it's just smaller. No, the gold model is bigger, I believe. Gold's right. bigger, yeah. yeah I mean, platinum was the biggest. No. Gold model is like a big one for Danny, back look pain. it up. Yeah, he doesn't trust me. <laughs> Just look at the pricing on it. You can tell if it's bigger Gold or not. Gold is platinum. Uh, By the way, they make ones for horses and pets, too. They make pet beds and yeah. horse blankets. So We got one for a um, cat. I should try it for my dog. She would love it. She would love it. Yeah, she my dog hates winter. She gets cold. She'd be a spoiled, spoiled little doggy. Do you want know to talk about stretch strap? Sure. Bit? So this is for stretching your hips, legs, arms, anything you want. But since right. we're on hip video today, I actually need to get one of these because I've been stretching more since I've been running more and I kind of wish I had one of these. Yeah, what's, hint, nice hint. About, what's nice about it is you can actually, you have the, the loop that goes around the foot, but let's say you have arthritic hands or arthritic joints and you can slip the hands through the loops and so you don't have to pull with your, your fingers, which is could often be painful. And it's easier to, I mean, if you're stretching without it, I mean, I have to grab here and lift it up, like say if my leg is sore, right. or I can just hook it on there and then start bringing it up. I mean, this is nice. For but me. you can actually pull it right in the flexion too, like Mike is doing right now. Yeah, you can pull it yeah. right up like that. You can go over, yeah. Hook and, it over this and way. you can go into abduction too, let it go out that way. Hook it over this way. Yeah. You can, if you're sitting up, you can get a calf and hamstring stretch without having to flex over and try to grab it. So you can just sit up nice and go this way as well. So yeah, these are... I have to tell you, like... And they're very cheap. I mean, inexpensive. Yeah. Not cheap. <laughs> I keep using the wrong words. You can scroll down. 17 bucks. Seven? That's not the right one. Yeah, I see it on the Amazon screen. Oh, 17 bucks. He sees it on the Amazon screen. Never mind. Yeah, they're actually... Um, I'm really proud of this device to have our name on it because they're really well made. Um, I think they're the best one out there by far. It's not even close. So yeah, they're second. firm. They're made for stretching. They're not like an exercise strengthening tool. Well, it's eighteen dollars, seventeen ninety nine. But uh, the loops are really easy to get your feet and hands into them because they they kind of billow out here. Yeah. But this is a smooth surface, so it's easy to slide them on. And plus, they're very durable. You could, and you can hook them up in the middle in the end. I mean, I can stretch this way as well. This is nice and easy. If Mike's girlfriend ever gets rid of him, <laughs> like she offs him with a device, Mike she could drag his dead body out of the house. Hey! Into the sky. <laughs> That's just a little hint. This got morbid very fast. I see. But yeah, this is a good stretch to do uh, the quadricep stretch. Um, you're actually one of the mu quad muscles goes across the hip and really common for that one to be tight. Um, actually, my son, Matt, right, we were talking about he needs to stretch that one. He's got a pelvic tilt and oh. that, that muscle is pulling him over. So, I mean, he can even use it as a leg lifter if he just had leg surgery too. Yep. Yep. Really handy. Uh, again, very portable. You can stick it in your pocket you can fold it up and take it with you to a... Uh, if you're going to do a 5K or something like that, you can stretch anywhere. Um, you can stretch the calf muscles really well. Yeah. And the, the top loops are a little more padded for your wrists, too, the top handles, uh, if you need to yeah. grab it with your hands. Really long, too. How many, how many holes are in this thing? Yeah, I don't know. I wrote it on there, but you're not even on. Yes, I'm right there. Three, 12 oh, you loops. are in there, 12 loops. He's on I it. wonder how long it is. You didn't write that down. Well, it's taller than you. Yeah, that's true. We're over six foot six, so you can almost get to the ceiling with it. Oh, and that's eight feet tall for sure. Eight feet at least. Not eight. Shaq could probably use this. Look at us uh, really prepared here. So um, let's talk about this one right here, Brad. Mike. Brad. I'm sorry. After years of working with Brad, 
it's the name is stuck in your head. Inked into my head. So this is just a elevating leg rest pillow. There are tons of brands on Amazon. They're all pretty much identical. Yeah. They're all foam. Um, you want to get a elevating leg rest pillow for your legs. The triangle wedge is more for your upper body. So right. if you're looking without our links, make sure it's like an elevating leg Elevate, rest. Elevating leg rest. And let, let's take it off one time, Mike. I want to show when you're lying like this, your hip is kind of at end range. It's not in a relaxed position. So if you're having trouble with hip pain, this is actually a very comfortable position for hips and even your low back. A lot of the uh, back issues feel a lot more comfortable. I have my nephew. He was having trouble with sciatica and he couldn't sleep at night. He could sleep with sleep with this. He'd start with it, yeah. and then after a while, he'd kick it out. But but he, he could start and, and get get to sleep by by using this. Yeah, they're super handy. They're. Uh... You'll find out this is really comfortable. You're recouping from any leg surgery, too. Like yeah. my girlfriend had this after knee surgery, or if you have swelling in your legs, oh, this is good, too, and it elevates your, like, yeah. above your heart. So if you have swelling in your ankles, even, you can even do some ankle pumps while you're in this position, and yeah. I'll push the fluid back up into the leg. And it's so. got a, the outside fabric zips off, so you can wash it if it gets dirty. It's just foam underneath. So it's just yeah. kind of like a pillowcase cover. Surprisingly, uh, a very simple device, but it, it really serves a purpose for certain pain issues. Yeah. It's only 34 um, to $38, depending upon who you buy it from. Um, roughly, that's the estimate on line. It is 22.5 inches by 19 by 8 inches. So yeah, if you're a taller person, you might want to try to find one that's a little bit longer. Um, so that, like with me, my legs really extend over the end of it. Oh, I, um, yeah. I suppose you could put pillows on the end if you really right, need it. But, right, right. Because this part you need to get in the crook of your knee or the bend of your knee. Yeah. You know call it. Brad uses this uh, with his spondy, and he actually puts an ice pack in and lays lies in this position, and then he falls asleep, and he wakes up and kicks it off. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, they're a little... Big. I don't think I'd sleep with it all night, but if I was just like watching TV or something or trying to fall asleep, yeah, they're super helpful. Well, there we go, Mike. I think we covered all our products, right? I think we touched on everything. Are there any more questions on hip pain or products? If there are no more questions, uh, if you have questions, you just type in Bob and Brad and your question or the subject matter, and it'll take you probably to the video in which we'll address it. Do you guys so, have a hip pain program? We do have a hip pain program. Yes, we do. Yeah, I think so. Yes. We also so, have a hip replacement exercise program. So if you go to bobandbrad.com and then go to the program section, you'll find a whole program on hip pain or hip replacement, both of them. Yep. And uh, you, these are all free. You can also do, uh, download PDF, a PDF printout. printout. So if you watch the video and you want some of the exercises with pictures, you can just print it out instead of watching the video a bunch, or just save it on your computer. Or phone. I'll put the link up. Uh, Danny put the link up there for you if anyone is looking for it. So. All right. Thanks all right. again for joining us. Thanks. For really watching. appreciate all you guys out there. Take care. Thanks.